Look, we've all had addictions, all right? Builder base, vaping, hentai, don't actually know if I can make that joke, but you get the point, we've all been there. And today I'm gonna share with you one of the dumber addictions I had, and that of course is my gambling addiction. Which I know, it's a little bit of a, a heavier topic for a builder base video, but it, you know, honestly, I've run out of ideas to make videos for, and I think it makes for a really funny thumbnail, so you, you, you'll be fine, all right? We're gonna talk about this. So, gambling addiction. How did I get there? Great question. I was freshly 18. That doesn't sound very great. Please don't cut that out of context. Anyway, first let me actually plan out how to take down this base. I don't think it'll be that hard. No, it's not gonna be hard at all. Okay, who's ready for the money shot? We're gonna use Barbarian's Battlecopter from this corner. Barbarian's a test for traps. Cannon cart one. Then cannon cart two. Let's test for some more traps. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank god I tested for traps. Jesus. All right, cannon cart number three. All right. Well, that was a good, efficient start. Uh, we already found another Tesla over there. This is why you bring Barbarian's. What more do I need to tell you? Anyway, I was freshly 18, all right? And, well, actually, no. This starts before I'm even 18. I was in a relationship with someone and their parents gave me a lottery ticket, a scratch off ticket per se. And so all that to say to my ex, if you watch my videos, which I hope to God you do not, but if you watch my videos, it's your mom's fault. It's all your mom's fault. Because what happened was by a miracle of God, that ticket that they gave me happened to win. <laughs> And it gave me $25. $25! I, I was not even 18 at the time. I, I legally should not have been able to even, even use the ticket or redeem it, but fun fact about lottery tickets, nobody checks if you're actually 18. Because nobody thinks that someone under 18 is going to be like, oh boy, let me, let me pull a big one on this, <laughs> on this cashier at the gas station and, and buy some lottery tickets. Yeah, that's going to make me cool at school. Yeah, yeah. No one's thinking that's going to happen. So. I walked in there, I gave them the lottery ticket, they're like, it was 25 bucks, and that was it. It was just a short, sweet $25, and I was like, okay, you know, that was a fun experience, I'm not gonna do that again. Which is what I should have thought, because what I actually was like was, holy God, I'm about to do this until I can't anymore. And that's precisely what I did. So, it, it kind of, here's the thing, is like, I was just playing around. I took the $25 I made from the lottery ticket that the her mom had given me. I reinvested it into more lottery tickets. Sorry, my gameplay cut out and then I accidentally placed on my battle machine trying to fix it and now we're just now we're just really in a pickle, but um, I reinvested these tickets and you know I was trying to take it slow and steady. I wasn't gonna. I wasn't gonna do anything risky. I wasn't gonna be doing anything stupid. I, I knew lottery. I know lottery is like a tax on dumb people. I, I I heard it in Family Guy, so it must be true. So I wasn't gonna just be stupid and just start playing the lottery all the time. So I just I took the money I had made from it, and I thought, you know what? Okay, just reinvesting this. Uh, I need to really bounce number two real quick. Can I get the other cannon cards to help him out? Perfect. We're gonna let that do splash shot. Anyway. I reinvested it, and I, I happened to win again, which is very, very rare, but to me, I was like, oh my god, I just I just found a loophole. I found a loophole in the system here. It's almost as if the, the scratch-off ticket gods knew that this was like my first rodeo with scratch-off tickets, and so they were gonna make it so I would like win the first two, because after I won the first two, I was like, this is free money. This this I think I can retire at this point, because I'm just gonna be a lottery ticket connoisseur. So at this point, I, I'd made like $50, and, and I, was, I wasn't taking it serious, right? But I wasn't not taking it serious, so I, I had like a, a notes app where I would keep track of how much I had won or lost, just so I could make sure it wasn't going into the red, you know? And I started taking this a little bit more serious, okay? Like, I had a lucky coin, and I would not use anything but this coin. Because in my mind, I'm like, this, this is the lucky coin. I, I cannot, I can't mess this up for myself. Uh, I'm gonna use the same strategy I used against this last time, because it worked really well. But anyway, I had the lucky coin, lucky coin was in place, and I would only use this coin. I don't even know where I got the coin from. It was a really cool gold coin, whatever. And then one day, I, I could not find the coin. I couldn't find it. And I was like, okay, well, look, it, it's just a coin. Surely it's not j all in it. And I full sent, I full sent it, baby. $30 and $5 scratch off tickets. Because at this point, I, I, I had made like maybe $5 <laughs> in total. But to me, I was up. We were up. <laughs> So I just kept sending it, and so I've sent like 30 bucks in scratch off tickets and rut row, all of them lost, and I was like, oh, wait a minute, that, that's not supposed to happen. That's not possible, that, that can't be true. 
something something's lying here oh wait this is the person this is the person who in my i think one of my most recent videos maybe my one video from yesterday i think i time failed against them because they had a gold mine right there that's crazy that's what you get now i'm not using my freaking battle machine so i can actually take this dude down really easily Okay, you know what? I, I feel very redeemed. I lost like 30 bucks in scratch off tickets. And I was like, oh, that's not good. So I, I just I just gave it a break for about 24 hours. And then I went back and I got some more. Because to me, it was like, okay, look, I, I this is the first time I've lost money. Surely it's a fluke. There's no way that playing the lottery isn't profitable, you know? Like, why would they let you play the lottery if you would lose money? So I, I just gave it a little bit of a day. I came back the next day, got some more tickets, and then now we're down like 30 bucks because all those lost. And I was like, hmm, uh-oh, this, this, this isn't going good. And um, the, the worst part about it is it wasn't even like I didn't know how much I was losing. I literally had a notes app dedicated to keeping track of it. And I just, sto I just stopped uh, writing it down in the notes app because at this point I was like, I, I was probably down 100 bucks or something. And at, at that point I was like, yeah, we're, we're just... We're just gonna call it a day at this point. I'm not. I'm not looking into how much I'm losing, <laughs> so I just stopped keeping track of it. Which, you know, technically, you know, it, it, it does work. That does stop you from losing money on paper, but it does not stop you from actually losing money. But in my head, I was like, out of sight, out of mind. Who needs money? I, I'm, 18, I'm 18. All right. I live with my parents. Why, why would I need money? And so I just kept sending it, baby. Let's go. And um, <laughs> I remember I went to this gas station with my like birthday money that I got from turning 18. It was like 50 bucks. And I've been buying scratch off tickets for a little bit at this point. So the, the cashier knew me and he, he knew I would always come in there. And he, what you do, you have to redeem the scratch off tickets. So if I win, he knows whether I won, right? Because he, he has to redeem them. So he knows if I won and he would just see me buy the tickets and not come back in. So he knew I was losing. And so I came in with like $50 for my birthday thing. And I was like, okay, dude, I'm a full send it. And he, he was just like, man, you really shouldn't be buying those. You, you know, like you're just, they're a waste of money. They're a waste of time. And I was like, yeah, but you know, this is my, it's just like birthday money. It's not that big a deal, you know, because I didn't have it to begin with. So like, what's, what's the big loss? And he was like, you just really shouldn't do that. And that got me kind of thinking, oh boy, it's the same base I already took down. How do we take it down in a fun way to make this video not <laughs> terrible? Mmm, I have an idea. I have an idea. Okay. You already know it's night witches. Anyway, so like I I'm sitting here. And some random guy I don't know is telling me advice like, dude, you really should stop this. It's not worth it. And that really got me thinking, you know, like that, that he must like, why, why am I doing this? What, what is the point of this? And I, I think going to that gas station was a really big turning point for me. No, I, I'm just kidding. I bought $50 worth of lottery tickets, lost all the money. And at this point I was like, I was like $200 in the red. And if, if you guys want to see what I was like when I was knee deep in this lottery ticket addiction, you can actually watch a video I made when I was a Clash Royale content creator um, where I buy, I buy lottery tickets under the premise that it's for a challenge when in reality it's just an excuse to buy lottery tickets. Like that's how I was, I was trying to find any way to like justify it to myself why I was buying lottery tickets. But anyway, um, you should totally watch that video for one, give me, give me the content, give me the free views. And two, I was, I was, I was going through a little bit of a stage there, you know, like I definitely, I knew I shouldn't probably be buying a whole lot of lottery tickets, but at the same time, I, I was honestly addicted to it. And I, I do have an addictive personality, which I do know, but, um, you know, I just, I feel like you in these situations, you don't really want to admit it to yourself. The hardest part about it is like, you don't want to, you don't want to be like, yeah, I have a problem with that. You want to be like, no, it's not that big a deal. Are there small air bombs over here? Yes, there are. It takes out everything. Jesus. Anyway, you don't want to admit it to yourself and you don't want to be like, yeah, I can't handle that. Or, oh, I don't have self-control or whatever. And so as a result, you just kind of get deeper into that mindset of, oh, I'm fine. And I remember like, I didn't tell anybody that I was having trouble with this because I was kind of embarrassed. I didn't want to admit that I was having a hard time. 
like I remember going into the gas station and again, I would buy lottery tickets a whole lot. And so they knew me and they're like, oh, it's a lottery ticket guy. But I was like with my ex-girlfriend and I, she didn't know that I was buying a whole lot of lottery tickets. So I'm like, shh, shh, be quiet, be quiet. And yeah, like it, it was just, it was a pretty stupid scenario to be in especially because there was no real reason I was in it apart from the fact that, I don't know, I just, I couldn't ask for help. And so what I kind of wanted to make this video here for is for one, just to tell a stupid story. Like, I think it's really fun. I'll, I'll put up a picture right now. That's what my desk looked like. That isn't even all my lottery tickets. That's just, that's just a handful of them because I just, I would not ask for help. I would not ask for anything. And I'll just pretend like I could handle it and that it wasn't a big deal. And so anyway, I wanted to make this video because I, I've struggled with a lot of different addictions, whether it's vaping or if it's lottery tickets or even playing video games or other things, you know, I've struggled with a lot of different addictions. And I feel like I feel like a lot of people in that scenario, especially myself when I was in that scenario, just don't really want to ask for help because they don't want to admit that they struggle with it. And so I, I've currently, obviously, I'm not, don't have a lottery ticket addiction anymore. I don't vape. I haven't hit a vape in 52 days as, after five years since I was 15. I don't struggle with that. I don't have any of those problems right now. I'm doing really well. And a lot of that just started when I actually admitted to myself and to others that I need help. So for those of you who might be struggling with an addiction of any kind, the first step is admitting to yourself that you're struggling with it. And the second step is asking for help because it gets a whole lot easier when you ask someone else. The only reason I quit my lottery addiction is because A, I ran out of money and B, I had to go to jail and get a lawyer. So I couldn't afford to continue it and then I realized how bad it was so I stopped permanently. Don't play the lottery. It's such a waste of money. Learn from me. It doesn't go well. Hope you enjoyed ask for help. Even if you need to ask me for help, I'll probably respond to you on Discord. But if I don't, it's not because I don't hate you. It's just because I didn't see it. But hope you had a good day. See ya.